improving your health this year, acupuncture can actually be the thing you might need to stick to those resolutions. Great pun, Larson. Licensed acupuncturist <laughs> Margaret Lander is here. Talk about how acupuncture can help you continue to stick to those resolutions. Good morning. Good morning. So acupuncture resolutions, I don't think a lot of people would connect those. Walk us through it. Okay, so uh, when people try to do exercise, a lot of times they have pain, mm -hmm. and acupuncture can help with pain. Uh, they might find a lot of stress and decide not to go to the gym. Acupuncture can relieve stress, help sleep, digestion, uh, mood. So if you're in a bad mood and you don't want to go to the gym, acupuncture is a great way to lift the mood. So Can you do things to suppress my appetite as well, help me lose weight? or? Yes. Wow. That's a good deal. <laughs> Holy buckets. What about other people and healthcare providers with acupunctures? What's kind of the difference between what they do and what you do? Okay, so there are a couple of new things uh, this year. One is that we North Dakota acupuncturists, about a dozen of us, have finally gotten our licenses to practice in North Dakota. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and so that means that uh, hospitals, et cetera, can hire us. And insurance yeah. companies could actually pay for acupuncture nice. with acupuncturists uh, once they get that set up. And then the other thing is, for the first time, we have our own job classification code with the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Wow. So there are a lot of people who do acupuncture, not just people like me. Uh, but typically, we have a three to five year master's degree, depending on where you are, mm -hmm. and hundreds of hours of supervised clinical practice with experienced uh, mentors. And none of them do. Uh, uh, chiropractors who do acupuncture typically have seven weekends of training. Mm. I know somebody who calls them weekenders. <laughs> and uh, MDs and osteopaths typically have <clears throat> 300 to 350 hours of training. Uh, physical therapists don't call it acupuncture, but it really is. Uh, and that's 27 hours of training. Mm. So uh, we have a lot more training and a lot more supervised practice and are able to help people with a lot more different things because of that. Wow. Well, there's a lot, a lot more research around. I mean, I know the Department of Defense, the Pentagon, doing a lot more work with vets with, with acupuncture Yeah, as well. exactly. And there are some great protocols for post-traumatic stress. And um, I learned a new one that doesn't even require needles uh, wow. at my last continuing ed. So. <laughs> Holy it's a big bucket. difference. And so we see the, the human being as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, so the body and mind are totally connected. And when you just have a really short course, you can only deal with, you know, pain here or there or something simple like that. Mm -hmm. So some of this is like, wow, this sounds really good, but I'm a little bit hesitant because I've never done acupuncture. Or what mm -hmm. do you say to them? I say it's worth a try to call it acupuncture. You just need one needle in. And uh, there are other things I can do to help. And the needles are pretty painless. Yeah. Some of the needles I have are 0.12 millimeters. Yeah, you don't even feel is, them. I mean, yeah, super tiny. And if I press first, you probably don't feel even the thicker ones. Wow. So it's pretty easy. And you say it. You said you know, as people are setting their New Year's goals, you can help them. <clears throat> he was talking about the appetite, but right. Uh, you talked about pain, so that's probably a big common one that people are seeing that me for right now. That is probably the most common thing that people see me for. But lately, I've been having a lot of people with anxiety coming to me. Mm. Uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, mainly pain and anxiety right now, mm. but that shifts. And fertility is another big one. Um, I had a patient recently who her first child cost her about $40,000 between taking a nasty drug called Lupron for six months and having terrible side effects with that and then in vitro fertilization. And she went to her doctor recently and her tubes are clear, there are no cysts, and her other problem that she had is not visible. So her doctor said, her fertility specialist said, there's no reason why you can't get pregnant now. Wow. So. And that was because of what you were doing working So yeah, with her? acupuncture and herbs. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Anything else you want to share with us? Well, she also lost 15 pounds and her skin cleared up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she's a happy oh. camper. <laughs> That is great. It's great for mood. <laughs> so if people are looking to maybe give it a try, and I think that's the first thing, is once you give it a try and you realize how much help you're getting from yeah. it, that's the first step. So how can they reach out to you? 
uh, call or text 218-289-7384 or I'm at 1020 South Washington, mm -hmm. and I'm also on Facebook and have a website, acupuncture-grand-forks.com. Good stuff. Thank you for yeah. being here. Thank you. All right, stick around. We're going to wrap things up right after this. Mm.